This is just a quick episode of the Working Man's blog that I wanted to make to discuss the new downloadable content for SmackDown vs. Raw 2009. Now, if you live under a rock like me, you wouldn't have known that, surprisingly enough, WWE and THQ have put out a second downloadable package for this game after many uh, people thought that after the first one and how long it took for the Xbox 360 guys to get it, they'd never probably do it again. I know I was surprised, but I would be you know, see, uh, I was even more surprised to see who was involved in this package. That would be Dwight the Clown, the Bushwhackers, Earthquake, and my personal favorite and a welcome addition, Vader. Now, I'm downloading the package right now. Don't judge me, it's only five bucks. And to be perfectly honest, I have been looking around again to see what everybody's thoughts about this, and, you know, most of it is understandably why is it that old timers, well, not so much old timers, but guys from a past generation like these five aren't in Legends of WrestleMania dedicated to these type of people and are instead in a game which clearly stated that they weren't going to have any sort of things that resemble Legends whatsoever. I mean, unless uh, Vader, the Bushwhackers, and Dwight the Clown suddenly resurface, the latter, which I wouldn't put past WWE given the whole PG thing. Unfortunately, Earthquake can't do that because he's kind of suffering from a slight case of death. Point is, is that I went and looked around and saw the same song and dance I see with not only downloadable content for this game, but downloadable content in general. People whining and complaining and bitching and moaning about how it's not what they want, it's not something that they'd be interested in. When this downloadable content, it's optional. No one's holding a gun to your head and saying you have to buy it. And even if you have to buy it, it's only like, ah, somewhere ranging from three to five bucks? What? I will never understand what people complain about for this. Now, as far as this game goes, I can understand perfectly why people would be confused as to this type of roster selection, but this is my theory. Now, it would be kind of silly for people, uh, for WWE and THQ to be putting in at this point of the game, this late into the year, new people like, or returning people like Christian, Vladimir Kozlov, and any sort of other new people that may have surfaced. I wouldn't know because I don't really pay attention to WWE outside of the pay-per-views anymore, and even then, that's starting to slim down after the last WrestleMania. That's another story for another time, which will probably never happen. But in any case, have any of you stopped to think that maybe the reason that they didn't put people like Christian and Kozlov in a uh, downloadable package is because they want to save these guys for the inevitable SmackDown vs. Raw 2010? Yes, it will happen. Uh, most people hate THQ and cry, good God, when it's going to end, but... As far as I know, it's probably going to happen, and it will happen. And if it does, they're going to want to save big names or newcomers like these guys for this game. Now watch them come out with a new downloadable pack with these guys to prove me wrong. But in any case, that is my theory. Now, as far as to why they picked these guys, I honestly have no idea. But I personally am thrilled and excited to be able to play as Vader in this type of game. Vader, it was always one of my personal favorite wrestlers back in the day. He still is because he is the goddamn heaviest hitter ever and one of the best agile big men to ever uh, grace this sport. If you ever get the time, you're on YouTube right now. Go up to the search bar and type in Big Van Vader Tribute. You'll see what I mean. Uh... I like to hope that the download is finished now so I can try this out, although I've heard horrible things about what has happened to Vader, lack of move-wise. I hope that's not true because uh, I personally would love to see a SmackDown vs. Raw 2009 Vader bomb. Uh, my hopes and dreams are probably about to be crushed, but this is my take on the whole downloadable content issue. And on a final note, this is what I think should be done as far as downloadable content goes. Just get rid of it. No more downloadable content ever. If people are going to whine and complain about an optional thing that can just be put into the pre-existing game, why give it to them? I say we just get rid of it. You know? If they're going to ruin it for everybody, why have it, right?
They're always, they're always going to complain. Why bother, right? They're never going to be satisfied. So why give it to them? Anyways, that's my thought on the whole situation. So I'm going to go try this out now. Hopefully I like what I see. And if nothing else, I can at least see what Titantrons they have. Because I know at least Vader has one. And just mess around with it a little. Because at the very most, I'd expect them to have certain downloadable moves that I can play around with. I mean, the last guys had it. Hopefully these guys will too. Otherwise, it'll seem like a pretty piss poor update. Anyways, this has been a quickie episode of The Working Man's Blog. I will see you guys later. Real quick add-on that I wanted to bring up now that I remember it, but as far as the downloadable content for this game goes, I do remember seeing a couple of people who shouted from the top of the heavens that they didn't want people like Vader and Bushwhackers and Earthquake and Doink the Cloud in this game, and instead wanted people like Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Rock. Buy it. Rent it. Problem solved. Morons! I'm surrounded by morons! <laughs>